All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, another Sharp Moves video, another Sharp Moves exclusive. Uh, today, we've got something really, really special. Uh, my first experience with the 2016 uh, BMW M4. Uh, this one's obviously in a convertible, so it carries a little bit more curb weight, coming in about 4,000 pounds. Um, this one is in mineral metallic white, uh, so pretty special. It's also got white um, aftermarket rims as well to kind of finish it off. Um, so looking, looking pretty good. Um, all the trim here is finished in black gloss to give it that nice sort of contrasting sort of style. Um, I'm a big fan of white with black accents. I think it really gives it that sort of menacing um, look. The M4, you know, an M4 competition are, is already a really aggressive sort of car. But this, you know, these little sort of gloss accents, the white uh, rims, the, the bottom extension splitter, that's all uh, been put on by the owner uh, just to give it that extra little sort of allure, extra little sort of aggressiveness. So looking really, really good here. Let's, uh, let's get into a full review and, uh, and see what, she, uh, what this puppy's made out of. All right guys, so just a little bit about this car. It's a three liter inline six, not a V6. It's an inline six twin turbocharged engine uh, pushing about 425 horsepower uh, and about 406, 410 foot pounds of torque. So this car absolutely goes. It's got the cracks, it's got, it's got the bangs. It's uh, just a hoot to drive. So just coming around here, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll give you a little look-see of, uh, of the back of the car. Um, again, very similar to the front. The car is very, very sort of aggressive looking. You got the M Sport uh, Motorsport badging that shows, you know, when you see that M and those three colors, you know you're in something sort of special, all in nice gloss black. Um, quad exhausts, all done in an aluminum sort of finish, which again, looks, looks pretty badass, right? Nice little rear splitter here with some, uh, with some functional sort of air vents here, which is great. Um, and then coming around the side here, the interior is finished in just a nice plain sort of black, um, just to keep it sort of timeless. Um, and again, we're in a we're in a convertible, so let's uh, let's sink a little deeper into the into the beautiful interior of this uh, of this M4. All right, guys. So coming into the interior here, we got really nice sort of door jams or you know um, kick plates sort of that say M4. Um, really, really love the sort of M badging. I think it really sort of adds to the, the classiness and the, the prestige of the 
of the uh, of the vehicle. You can see how all the old school sort of analog dials in there, um, you know, which is for, for a car enthusiast is a huge, huge thing. I think a lot of people are going, a lot of car companies are going digital now, but you know, Porsche, BMW in their, in their more prestigious performance cars have kept things nice and analog, which is really, really nice. You also get a little sort of digital display underneath where you can, where you can see your M badging and all that stuff when the car is actually on. Uh, so this spec is actually, this car, excuse me, is actually highly, highly spec. And the reason I say that is it's got uh, lane keep assist, it's got all the safety packages, it's decked out through uh, carbon fiber throughout the whole sort of cockpit, which is obviously a, a, a pretty substantially expensive um, option. Um, it comes with your with your um, your standard BMW sort of infotainment system, which is actually really, really good. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit uh, just briefly. Uh, also has heads up display, which I think is a really, really important addition. Uh, on a vehicle like this, right? So you can see, you know, your speed limit. You can see how fast you're going, um, and try and keep that uh, to uh, to a minimum. All right, guys. So just a couple, a couple of little other quick little tidbits. Uh, one in the convertible, you get a nice air scarf here. Uh, Today is an absolutely menacingly hot day, so the air scarf is really going to keep you sort of nice and uh, nice and cool as you're zooming along and the sun's beating down you. So, so I think that's a really really important component. Um, you get all electric sort of seating to displays and controls, right? Which shows you you're in a you're in a high end sort of vehicle, right? A performance vehicle, and you know at at seventy five eighty thousand dollars USD when it was new, that you kind of expect that sort of stuff, right? That should be sort of standard, and it is. Uh, so just coming around, um, it should be mentioned that uh, this sound system I think has been upgraded. Harman Kardon, um, you know, it's got from from my first sort of line of sight, I see at least. 10 or 12 different uh, speakers so you know the music just just pumps in this car and um, you know for good reason it was obviously upgraded uh, to the more substantial premium uh, package so just coming around here let's take a look at the uh, so obviously remembering that we're in a convertible so naturally the whole top is sitting here uh, blocking out just about all of the trunk space. So, you know, that being said, you still get a little bit of stuff. You're not going to get any golf clubs or anything in there, but, you know, a couple bags, you know, maybe a, a small little carry-on, um, a couple tennis rackets, squash rackets in my case. Um, but yeah, you're, you're definitely, you're definitely compromising for, uh, for space when you want the convertible. All right, so just, just a quick little look at the interior, and this is a real beautiful one. You get that nice carbon fiber to look at every day. God, this would be a dream to look at every single day. Carbon fiber right throughout here, this nice little waterfall. Again, BMW does their infotainment systems really, really nice. They've been doing the same thing for, for sort of a number of years, but you know, why change a real good thing? Um, obviously, this car has been updated to an even more badass version um, as of 2021. Um, you know, the one with the big front kidney grills and everything like that. Um, but you know the, the more traditional classic look here really really works nice big thick 10 and 2 chunky steering wheel more M badging here right BMW logo nice sort of firm good quality leather here metal paddle shifters right up and down you got another M badging here on your uh, on your um, gear lever um, you know this is to take your your shifts a little bit faster a little bit punchier this is your sport mode, efficient, sport, sport plus. And you know here in Sharp Moves, we only keep it in sport plus. There's no efficient. Um, yeah, so you got all your little functions here. Maybe we demo the, uh, the up and down of the, uh, of the convertible top. Let's take a look at how quickly we can do this.
All right, so about 20 seconds to get the top up and down. Um, it can be done, I've heard, about 20 miles per hour or below. So if you're in slower traffic, you don't need to come to a dead stop. You can bring the top up and down. You know, if rain starts to happen, if it starts to come down, boom, you can just reduce your speed and, and, and knock it down. Uh, so just wanted to bring to your guys' attention a little bit. Nice uh, M badging here. Um, I know that it's an option. This looks a little bit sort of worn. It's an option to get this actually illuminated. And I think that the owner of this one decided just to go with the sort of plain badging, which is which is totally cool. It looks nice. Um, you get that on both sides there, right beside the air scarf. Uh, and then obviously more Harman Kardon badging here. More speakers there, there. Same thing on both sides. Um, so the sound system really pumps. Let's go get a quick little clip. Yeah, it definitely goes, definitely goes. I don't want to, uh, don't want to play it too long for copyright reasons, but uh, that's the interior of the of the car. Uh, I think it's now time for us to get on the road and uh, give her a go. So just gonna finish the video here. I uh, was trying to get a couple exhaust tones with a GoPro and a suction cup sort of mount on the exhaust and was zipping around the, the streets and it fell off and I didn't realize for quite a long time after. So I, sp I just spent a long time kind of searching the streets for it. But I found it, GoPro's done. The, the clear housing that uh, the GoPro was in is all ruined, but uh, pretty sure the camera's uh, intact. So I'm good to go. Uh, thanks for watching the video guys. Hopefully you learned a little bit. Uh, this was kind of just the initial review of the 2016 um, BMW uh, M4. Um, hopefully you guys have learned a little bit about the car uh, in terms of its spec, uh, the performance numbers, uh, and a little bit about the sort of history of the of Bavarian Motor Works, of BMW. Um, you know, the, the C63, the Audi RS5, you know, probably the Porsche Cayman GT all kind of sit in uh, in the same class or, or sort of a direct uh, competitors of the of this car. Um, so yeah, it's a you know it's a really really good vehicle. Um, I think now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump in the car and I'm gonna really take it for a good sort of drive and experience the you know the the whole sort of vehicle in and out. Uh, what I really really like is the top down driving. You get that different sort of driving experience. So I'm really really looking forward to that. Guys, if you're enjoying the material here, uh, please do me a big favor and smash that like button uh, as well as subscribing. If you subscribe, you join our community and you can you can follow along as, uh, as we move forward in the future, okay? Lots of cool uh, other vehicles and cool other things uh, on the way, okay? See you in the next video.